so today we are going to discuss a pure semiconductor material an intrinsic semiconductor as we have discussed earlier generally we use the intrinsic semiconductor, pure semiconductor material germanium or silicon in semiconductor electronics although we add some impurities to increase their conductivity but at this part of the chapter we are just discussing the intrinsic semiconductor, pure semiconductor we know that germanium and silicon atoms both have four valence electron in their outermost orbit each and they can share their electrons for making bond with another silicon or germanium atom or any of the atom of the impurity added to them. These shared electrons between two atoms make a covalent bond between these two atoms or simply that is known as the valence band, valence bond. Generally at an absolute temperature the intrinsic semiconductor does not have any of the free electron. As the temperature increases, the thermal energy of the substance increases and due to that effect, the electrons are released from the outermost orbit of germanium or silicon atom and they jump from valence band to conduction band. After getting a proper amount of energy relevant to the forbidden energy gap between valence band and the conduction band. These free electrons make contribution to flow of the current in the circuitry whereas they leave a vacant space in the valence band from where they jump out of the valence band. Those empty spaces left by the electrons are known as holes. As the electrons have negatively electrons have negative charge, since the electrons leave some vacant space and that vacant space has deficiency of a negative charge that's why we consider that a hole as a positive charge so the vacant space left by the electron in the valence band is known as hole this hole behaves like a apparent free particle with effective positive charge it means in an intrinsic semiconductor there are two types of free charge carriers. So there are two types of charge carriers certain temperature of pure semiconducting material atom. At absolute zero temperature, intrinsic semiconductor
जर्मेनियम और सिलिकॉन बिहेव एन इंसुलेटर एट रूम टेम्परेचर दे हैव फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स जम्प इन टू कंडक्शन बैंड ऑफ एटम फ्रॉम इट्स बैलेंस बैंड वेर इन बैलेंस बैंड दे लीव अ वैकेंसी previous place known as all so here the electrons are negatively charged and holes have the effect of a positive charge the electrons are free to move in conduction band and holes are free to move in balance band although the position of the holes is shifted due to the movement of the electron from one bond to another bond in vacant space means we can uh, we can means it can be said just that if there is a hole in a balance band and an electron acquire such type of amount of energy that it releases its space from there and fulfill the position of a hole in that case the position of hole is shifted to the location of the electron and hence this is called the shifting of the hole due to the movement of electron from one place to hole in an intrinsic semiconductor number of free electron are equal to number of holes left by the electrons definitely which we can express as an e equals to an h and since both are the free charge car carriers which maintain the current flow through a semiconducting device in that case since they have the both amount or the number of electron and hole same we can consider this as a hole the number of charge carrier either it is positive type or negative type as charge carrier in intrinsic semiconductor so for a pure or intrinsic semiconductor the product of concentration of electron and concentration of holes provides the square of the concentration of any of the positive or negative charge for an intrinsic semiconductor now we will understand how a hole is moved in valence band from one position to another position see in the given figure the lattice structure of a tetravalent atom germanium or silicon has been shown here the valency of atom of germanium is plus 4 means it can share four electrons to make covalent bonds with another four atoms and to each of the atom in its surrounding it can contribute one electron for a covalent bond now see in the given figure there are nine atoms of germanium 
and each of the germanium atom has been contributed four electrons to make covalent bonds with another germanium atom. When providing some temperature to this substance, electron thermally excited and having more energy to escape out from a bond releases from its place, which has been shown in the figure that one electron is free from the bonding. All the electrons has been shown here by red dots and the emptied space left behind its previous position in the bond has been shown here by blue color. That vacant position of the electron is called hole. So this is the concept of electron and hole formation in a semiconductor material. Now how the hole is shifted in balance band, the electrons which are free to move anywhere in the conduction band are one cause of the current flow due to semiconductor devices whereas the holes, the vacant space left by the freed electrons is also the cause of the current flow in a semiconductor device. Now we will see how the holes are shifted. Suppose at any instant of time an another electron get released and take the vacant space emptied by another electron. Say this is the electron number 1 and this is the electron number 2 which will free from this bond and fulfill the vacant space emptied by the electron number 1. What will be the situation? The electron will shift from position A to position B. In this manner, the movement of the electron from A to B. Whereas, the hole will shift from B to A because now when the number 2 electron will occupy the space left behind by the number 1 electron. It will be completely full filled by the electron number 2 and the vacant space at position B will be will be fulfilled and there will be another vacant space at position A means the vacant space of the freed electron has been shifted from the position B to A. So in this manner we can understand that the motion of the electron is just opposite to the shifting of the hole in balance band where one by one an electron breaks its bond and complete the vacant space of the any of the bond left behind by the electron and which fulfill that vacant space it left for itself a hole behind. So in this manner the shifting of all also contribute the current flow due to positive charge in a semiconductor device. So total current through a semiconductor device
I is the current contribution due to negative charges means the electrons and IH the current contribution due to poles. So in a semiconductor device the total current is given by the current due to the electrons flow and the current due to the flow of poles. The moment of the free electrons are in conduction band whereas the moment of the holes inside balance band of the atom. Apart from the process of generation of electrons and holes, there is a process which is known as recombination of the electron and holes where one electron fulfill the vacant space left behind by another electron. At equilibrium state, the rate of the generation of electron holes equals to the rate of the recombination of electrons and holes. And this recombination of electron and holes occurs when electron collide with hole or try to jump from a previously filled position to the hole position. So that's all for today. We will discuss the extrinsic semiconductor in our next lecture.